Alright, so this is the Hitachi Zexis 70 control valve. So we're gonna do the maintenance to replace all the seal for the control valve. As you can see here on that side, there is a hydraulic leak. So yeah, we need to repair and service, um, replace all the seal. So before we um, remove all the hydraulic lines, um, first thing first, you need to mark all the hydraulic hose and take a picture of it. Then after that, you can remove the hydraulic hose. Right. So this is to prevent the the hydraulic hose from switching uh, one on the other so that you 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 won't take so much time to um, to figure out the uh, the hydraulic hose during the installation later on
So the only thing that we need to do on control box is to replace all the seal, all the o-ring because that is the problem of this control box is the hydraulic leak. So basically the control box is the main control system of the hydraulic system on the excavator. So the control box will control all the movement of the excavator, the swing, the boom, arm, bucket, track and everything. So this is the device that control the movement. The pump will produce the hydraulic pressure and then the pressure will go to the control valve and the control valve will distribute the pressure uh, to the specific movement of the excavator. So the control valve will consist of few component, critical component, which is the spool, uh, the pressure relief, uh, valve check. The spool basically is the uh, component that moving back and forth and the spool will uh, change the direction of the hydraulic pressure whichever that the spool move and then the pressure will go to the specific movement of the excavator the movement of the excavator the hydraulic cylinder or the equator is only two movement control bar will supply the pressure to the equator to the cylinder hydraulic cylinder or to the hydraulic motor so the movement of the motor and also the hydraulic cylinder will be too and from the control valve here we can see that this line right here is for one movement let's say this is for the boom and the section for the boom will move uh, the boom movement will be from here all the way down until here so there is a uh, one line right here so this is the boom movement so if you can see here that there is a two output which means there is two uh, supply to the hydraulic cylinder so one is to extend the move uh, so one is to extend the hydraulic cylinder another one is to retach the hydraulic cylinder so there is a two movement right so here will be this simple um, drawing so this is the hydraulic cylinder let's say this is the hydraulic cylinder this is the hydraulic rod cylinder and this is the housing okay so both of these output from the uh, control valve which is just now i mentioned that this is for the boom and both of this will connect both of this hydraulic cylinder inlet okay so this one will connect here and then this one will connect here so there is a two movement of the equator the hydraulic cylinder <laughs> if the pressure entering on this side of the hydraulic cylinder and then the movement of the rod cylinder will retach will go in the rod cylinder will go in if the pressure entering on this spot so all the oil from this side will go back to the tank and another movement of the hydraulic cylinder is if the hydraulic pressure if the hydraulic pressure entering on this spot and then the hydraulic rod cylinder will extend and the rod will go out it will go here the movement will be to extend the rod cylinder and then all the oil on this side will go back to the tank this is the equator this is the hydraulic cylinder and how about the hydraulic motor so it's the same thing actually but the movement of the hydraulic motor is different it's not extend or it's not going it's not retach the 
movement of the motor will be rotation it will rotate so let's say this is the motor and the movement will be is either to rotate clockwise or to uh, rotate anti-clockwise so that's the movement of the motor okay so now we move to the pressure relief the relief buff the pot relief so we refer back on the line here if let's say this is the boom movement and you can see that there is a two pressure relief one on this side and another one is on this side both of these uh, relief buff will control the pressure for this output right. so this pressure relief right here is to control on this output and this pressure relief right here will control this output the function of the relief buff is the uh, is to release the the excess pressure if let's say the pressure is more than what we have set on the pressure relief and then all the pressure will back to the tank if let's say we we set the pressure specifically for this output at 3000 psi if the pressure is more than 3000 and this pressure relief will release the excess pressure back to the tank and the pressure relief will make sure that the only uh, pressure that entering on this spot is only 3000 psi okay so it's the same thing for this one also okay so this is the pressure relief so the pressure relief basically is to uh, is to protect the hydraulic cylinder from getting a high pressure for the uh, hydraulic cylinder because if let's say the pressure is more than what supposed to be and it might be causing some damage for the hydraulic cylinder or, or else it might be um, it might be causing the hydraulic hose will burst so the pressure relief is very important to control the pressure that's going in to the hydraulic cylinder okay so it's the same thing for the motor also and another one is the main relief valve this one so the main relief valve will be um, more or slightly bigger than the pressure relief because the main relief valve is to control the whole pressure inside of this control valve so you can easily know which one is the port relief and which one is the main relief because the port relief uh, usually will be mounted uh, beside of the spool this is the spool and this is the port relief this is spool port relief and the main relief will be mounted at the edge of the control valve right here so this is the main relief the main relief pressure will be slightly higher than the relief valve okay so that's pretty much what the critical component of the control valve
the control valve maintenance done all the seal the o-ring has been replaced and yeah you can see here there is a mark on every seal that we have replaced to prevent from confusing and this is all the old seal that we have replaced for this control rod it's a lot of uh, o-ring more than 100 I will let the control valve sit here for a while because I'm gonna do the swing motor maintenance uh, so that I can get more space access to the to dismantle the swing motor and also center joint after finish the swing motor and also center joint then only that I will install back this uh, control valve back to the excavator so I think that's all on this video and for the next video I will be uh, doing the swing motor right, so stay tuned and see you on the next video